Okay, let's talk about breakouts now. Like, and again, if you're highlighted in a video making a mistake, please don't feel bad. We all made these mistakes. So here's breakout number one. It's off a face off. We win the draw. Izzy does a really good job of getting this puck and getting it to her outlet, which is great. So now we got the puck. We're in perfect breakout position. Emily's got it on her, or sorry, Charlotte's got it on her forehand. The problem is that nobody's really breaking. On this play, we need that center to cut towards the boards. Okay, we need that winger to cut towards the middle of the ice. Someone's got to be going to the boards. Charlotte's got no one to give it to, and here she kind of panics. Now on this play, if you get the puck here and you got no one to give it to, just clear the puck. Just get it out of the zone. But Charlotte is being patient. She's taking her time. and She actually does a great job of protecting the puck here. But the one mistake she makes is she makes a blind, soft pass. Now, we get lucky here. Puck gets out. But again, we can't just make blind passes, especially soft blind passes in the middle. If you get in a position like this, I love your patience. You got no help, unfortunately. Everyone's kind of standing still. No board option. Not much to do. At that point, you might as well just chip the puck out. But anyhow, just... No soft blind passes, especially up the middle. We get lucky, okay? Good things on that play. A couple things not so good on that play. Okay, here's number two. This, is a, this could have been an amazing breakout. It was so close. What went wrong? So Serena's there early. That's awesome. She's on the boards. D has a little problem picking the puck up here little problem right there in the ice but what went wrong so far we're okay but one problem is we got our center centers there but what went wrong and our center is actually wide open a big part of the problem here I suspect I don't have it on video but I'm wondering if the winger did a shoulder check here right because if you do a shoulder check you're gonna get that puck right there you're gonna know that center is wide open look how open she is you're gonna fire that puck and we're breaking the puck out but I suspect the shoulder check didn't happen so then we start skating with the puck and we don't notice the center till about right there see her head turn now she notices the center but now she's lost a good second or two because we didn't do that shoulder check and all of a sudden there's somebody in the lane and the pass is broken up long story short make sure you do your shoulder check right there look you're waiting for that pass take a quick look you're gonna see your center you're gonna see that all their players are changing you're gonna get that puck I guarantee you you're gonna hit that center full speed who's gonna be going nice and wide and we're gonna have a nice chance on the other end okay again a lot of good things we got there on time just a shoulder check and it's a it's a successful wonderful breakout okay uh, what else we got here more breakouts good board work oh I think this is Nia puck comes up the boards Nia is in position stick lift boom gets her feet moving that's what I like the most she wins this she wins the puck she gets her feet moving and we're breaking the puck out hits the center boom beautiful what else we got here breakout no options so here's one this is a situation where no forwards are moving Haley's got the puck she's not moving to always better be moving your feet but ask yourself who's she gonna give the puck to right now her best option is probably Cassie but what forward is she gonna give the puck to she's looking up ice there's no winger on the boards we got a winger over here so there's no board side option she's got one winger who's like way outside the zone on the wrong side so for Haley to make that pass she's got to pass it through like three people to get that pass through not really a great option she's got Ariana stick down ice again no real point in making that pass either nobody's curling nobody's looping nobody's moving no board side option it's just it's just bad choices all around Haley just like I guess I'll try Charlotte but look at that. She's got to pass it through two people to make that pass. Three people. The third one gets it. There's no way it's getting through. We get a lucky bounce. The puck clears the zone. Okay?
for forwards, we got to be moving. We can't just stand around and hope. You see that defenseman with the puck? Board option, okay? Should be a player on the boards. There should be a center that's working hard curling. And there should be a third winger that's getting back inside the zone, okay? Basically, her only real option is Cassie over there. There's no, and even that's not a great option. It's a dangerous option just because everyone's standing still. Okay, so got to move, got to gotta get open. We got to support people by getting open, moving to open ice, creating puck lanes. We always, sorry, passing lanes. We always want a passing lane on the outside. We want a passing lane on the inside, okay, all the time. All right, so what else? We got some other ones. Um, so there are some things that our forwards maybe didn't do as well as they could have done. Um, but let's look at a couple. We're going to look at some of the D too. But uh, hold on a sec. Which one is this? So this is a great play by Sophie. Like, you remember the goals we gave up and how we gave up the middle of the ice? Sophie does a great job controlling the middle of the ice. Active stick. This girl doesn't have a prayer. She gets no kind of shot on net at all. Sophie's there. Battle in the corner. Sophie's there again. She wins the puck. But the problem is now we panic, right? Right now, no need to panic. I'm going to teach you one important thing, girls. When you panic... Nine times out of 10, the outcome is worse than if you were to just be patient and turn the puck over in the corner. So right now, if Sophie's patient, maybe 45 jumps in and steals the puck, so what? We lose the puck below the red line. But instead, she panics. Gives the puck up. That's far worse than just turning the puck over in the corner, okay? Take your time, trust me, be patient. Don't be so afraid to lose the puck below your red line. It's going to happen sometimes, and everybody's okay with it. What, what we need to do, though, is be patient. Take a look. Take your time. Because right here, Sophie's gone. If she looks up and she realizes how much ice she has, she's going right up the middle. She might, if this player comes over, maybe she's sliding it to Serena. It's out of the zone. We're going the other way. But we got to take a look. we got to be patient. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Okay? Defense made the same kind of mistakes this game too, where they panicked at times. Okay? So let's show some more examples. Here's one here. This one's Sari. Now, I get it's scary when the puck's near your net. Your goalie just made a save. And here we are. Puck's right there. You're the closest one to the puck. Who? What are we going to do? I know i got a teammate down over here. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to panic. Because when you panic, that's what happens. So Sarah is probably really afraid that it was going to go in the net. She's like, I can't pass it to Prussia. I got to play her down. What am I going to do? I'm just going to try to slap the puck down the ice. But we're doing it blindly and we're doing it right up the middle. And it basically becomes like a pass to the other team in the high slot. Okay, fortunately this girl doesn't handle it well and the play breaks up, but not good to panic. So what could Sari have done here? What you wanna do is you wanna get your feet moving into a safe area. So a good place to go right now, right behind your net, okay? You take that puck behind your net, it's gonna give you a second to look up, it's gonna give your players a second to get in position, it's gonna give the player that's fallen down a second to get up, you're buying everyone a second of time by not panicking. So instead of slapping the puck up the middle, get your feet moving, take it to a dead zone, skate it into the dead zone, and then try to make a play. It's gonna buy you time to take a look and figure it out. Most importantly, don't panic, okay? Uh, I got another don't panic here somewhere, I think. No, that might be it. Oh, unnecessary rims. Actually, this is another example of a don't panic play, okay? Did we need to rim that puck? We get the puck behind the net. We got all the time in the world. Now when you rim that puck, you're making the winger's job way harder. Okay, look at how much time Haley has right here. She has all the time in the world. She could skate the puck and then 
I guarantee what's going to happen is this player right here is going to start coming right at her, and she can make a direct pass to that winger. But instead, look at how much time she has. She's got like 20 feet of space. But when you just rim the puck, what happens? Now Charlotte's got the puck. She's got two players on her, and she's only got like four or five feet of space, okay? We're taking away our own time and our own space by not being patient and making a play and getting our feet moving. So what do you want to do here? Get your feet moving. Don't rim when you don't have to. Rim is a last resort, not a first resort, okay? So learn from that. So guys, there were good things in our breakouts. Our centers are getting better at looping. Our defense are starting to make more plays. But I just want you to see, if you keep being patient and you take your time, and you, when you are in trouble, skate the puck into dead zones, when you do those things, you're going to be far more successful. Uh, centers, when you get start getting cutting towards the boards, you're going to be a lot more successful. And wingers... When you anticipate when the puck might come up your boards and you go to your boards and then if you got no one to give it to, just chip it out off the boards, okay? When we do all those things, we're going to be far more successful. It's getting better though. The breakouts were better, but a couple tweaks are going to make a huge difference, all right?